G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy official AFL Evo career mode and today we are here for round one of the season. It is officially here, obviously if you haven't checked out episode one, we went through the preseason games, or at least the second game, and in today's video we are here officially for round one and we are taking on the Melbourne Demons at Optus Stadium and as you can see, pretty horrendous conditions that is going to make it pretty tough for football today. In terms of selection, I have picked a couple of young'uns. Uh, guys like Oscar Rowan is going to be my second ruck today. Um, I do want to keep him in the side for his development as long as possible. Jake Waterman is also going to be playing up forward. It's a pretty tall forward line, so I'm going to be playing Oscar Allen as more as that pure second ruck. I'm playing Liam Duggan as my sort of loose man in defence as well. Um, I'm going to give him that special role today. But other than that, it's fairly experienced Von Toss, and let's get underway. Now, I'm playing seven and a half minute quarters, guys, on uh, senior difficulty. So I'm playing it um, a full game on the harder difficulty than I played in the preseason. So this will be a genuine challenge for me. Let's get into it. The weather's so bad that it actually looks like a night game already. But it is actually in the middle of the afternoon as Shepard gets a bit of a breakaway. Hopefully Kennedy can neutralise this. He has full good tackle. Yes, one holding the ball perhaps a little generously here. Not any breeze whatsoever despite the rain. So this should be a fairly straightforward kick for Jamie Cripps to open the scoring for the season. It might not have the legs. It does. Well done, Jamie Cripps. Oh, throwing the ball. And Tim Kelly has an early opportunity to nail his first goal for the blue and gold. Oh, my God. Have I shanked that? I have shanked it. That's unlucky. Mixed ground, but I'll take it. McGovern with the big chase down the wing. Is that Melksham? Oh, he's been let off. We've been let off. Melbourne off the mark. Oh, they've run into an open goal, have they? Oh, don't know about that. I feel like I got there first. But the D's have their first goal. And they're in front after dominating long periods of this second of this first quarter rather. Oh, I've made a poor choice there. Kicked picked out the only man. The spare Melbourne man. And I am about to pay for it. Petrarca takes a fairly uncontested mark inside 50, about 20 metres out directly in front almost. Should make easy work of this. And again, they've missed. Oh yes, good grab. And Ryan sees a loose man, is it? Jack Redden? No, it's Jake Waterman rather. And a rare opportunity for the Eagles to score in recent minutes. Should make fairly easy work of this, or have I messed that up? No, that is straight through the middle. Jake Waterman kicks an important goal for the Eagles as we regain the lead with not long left in this first term. And that is the quarter time siren. And we go into the first break, three points up. Four inside 50s, is that all had? Wow, that is incredible. Deep into that 50. This is a great game, Hutto. And oh, Tim Kelly with the clearance. And that is a goal. That is a great goal. It wasn't him who got the clearance. Somebody passed it to him. I don't think there'll be a replay. But that is his first goal for the club. And it is coming a good time for these Eagles. They need to kick this, really. Oh, he shanked it again. But Petrarca lines up. They really need to make me pay for this poor defence I've really had. And they haven't. They are now one goal six. Ready. On the ball. Great effort. And that is a strong mark from Hutchings. Uncharacteristic, you'd almost say. So not a big contested marker. He's done well there. And that is going to go right to the goal line and has cleared it. So the Eagles are more potent in attack. They've taken their opportunities and they're more than double Melbourne score despite in in many ways getting dominated but I'll take it it'll be crucial 
Oh, and we have some overlap here. Oh, what's happened here? Jake Waterman, why would you take a bounce there? Definitely did not press triangle. But alas, it is a goal and the Eagles take their opportunity. Somehow had an extra man forward there. And surely they are due for a goal and they are not. That is incredible here in round one as we approach half time. Oh, some overlap here. Sure. Oh, wow. Would you take a bounce? There we go. I'm, I'm definitely not pressing triangle, which is the bounce button. But uh, here we go. As Kennedy can rub salt into the wound of Melbourne's fans. Right on half time, I think. Good intercept, Mark Hutchings. And that is half time. Couldn't quite think quickly enough on that decision and we are four goals in front major ball winners are brad shepherd who is doing quite well out of the back half um moving the ball along pretty well with his tidy disposal jake waterman has two goals melksham has probably been the best for them along with Jaden hunt let's have a crack at the second half now the contest. Well taken. Nat Nui has done so many times this game. He's won the ball out of the center and he's plucked. Mark Hutchings has plucked a contested grab. Not for the first time. I think that's about his third today. And he is going to make this hurt. So the Eagles now starting to put some real pressure on the Demons. Who of course finished bottom two last year. And uh, that is starting to reflect even though they've had the same amount of scoring shots. And Melbourne more inside 50s. They've been very, very good, just very, very untidy. And Jake Waterman is now putting on a clinic, to be honest, to quote the late, not the late Dennis Committee. Why did I say the late Dennis Committee? He is he has kicked a goal. Goodness me. He's kicked a goal. I think that is his second or third. It's his third goal. Yes, brilliant. So definitely staking his claim to cement his spot in this side. At the very this least. Shannon Hurt into the ruck. Questionable. Oh, send a ball from Gaff. Can someone take a grab? And they can. Jamie Cripps putting on a clinic. This is getting dominant. I'm actually, I'm starting to dominate general play. And I wasn't doing that in the first half despite the scoreline. Melbourne was still dominating the play. They just couldn't, you know, finish off their good work in front of goal. Tap came from Hurt. puts on a big hit. Going for goal number two. Um, that is a great goal from JK. I pressed triangle, which was just a clearance kick. But he nailed it, thankfully. Went straight through the middle. He's got two, and he looks fine, despite his injury scare. One down. McDonald did well not to fumble. Hacks it out of air. Stuck the Oh, Liam Ryan with the pluck. has outbodied his opponent. Not sure who is on him. Is it Jake Lever? Either way, he's got an opportunity to impact today after a quiet day at the office. It's going to go very close, and that should clear the goal line, and it does at fence height. So the Eagles running away with it now, but it is three-quarter time. And the Eagles are 57 points ahead. I'm sure a few of us will be starting to think about next week, and then we dominated the inside 50s then. I think I had 19 inside 50s in that, or well, in the second two quarters, actually. Still pretty good effort. Oh, a poor kick out of defence has given them another opportunity and they have nailed that one. Finally, Ed Langdon, his first goal for the club, his first game for the Melbourne Demons. Oh, I don't know what happened there, but I've been rewarded with a free kick and Gaff should make no mistake here as Tim Kelly wants the ball to add to his goal tally. And Gaff has put him away, and the Demons are now nine goals down in a very disappointing performance from them in the wet conditions. The Eagles have been clinical. It has been a struggle for clean ball in this wet game, and that is a good mark by Darling out on the lead. And just like that, the Ds can be all over me and then I just get a clean couple of kicks away and I've scored a goal and that is now 10 goals the difference this is a dominant performance 
only seeing one team really putting their all into this contest. He's got the footy in his hands. Yes, there we go. And the siren sounds on a very dominant round one win against the Demons. I don't think the difficulty is too easy just yet because Melbourne dominated periods of that game. Uh, second half, I kind of got used to it a little bit and started to dominate. But overall, I think the score is not too dissimilar to the real game we saw in round one. So as long as it's realistic, I'll give it a chance and see how long we can go on this difficulty before I have to move up. But as you can see, a dominant Eagle side had almost double the inside 50s, less disposals, but obviously did a lot more with it. Lost the contested possession, no real surprise there. Equaling clangers. Dominated me in the air with their tackle with their marks rather 63 to 38 I had more tackles which is promising more free kicks as well and the, the hit outs are a bit of a joke 47 to 10 for which Oscar Allen must have had more hit outs than anyone on the field which is crazy Best on ground was is that um, if I'm reading that right that is Clayton Oliver's best on ground then okay interesting and Hutchings and Kelly Mark Hutchings was very good at playing as a weird forward role, and Tim Kelly in his first game for the club gets a Brownlow vote, so we'll take that. So there you go, guys. That is the current ladder. Now, unfortunately, I can't give it to you at the end of round one because they've already started the round two games, but we have we are sitting in fourth spot with a percentage of 345 with a game upcoming against the St. Kilda Saints, who are in 14th spot. Losing their first game to North Melbourne, 48 to 53. So we've got a big opportunity there um, to make it 2 and 0. Oh, I hope you guys are there for the second, ever, well, the third episode actually for round two, when that eventually comes out. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you guys around. Cheers.